I'm unbelievably fortunate in that my studio room overlooks a magnificent view. Firstly, there's this walled garden, fenced in garden, and then from that is the rural views, the hillsides and the forests. And this is Peggy, one of the residents here, and she's leaning over the fence with her, what I think, iPad, taking photographs. And she's left her walker out on the paths and wandered off without the aid of her walker. <laughs> That's what us creative people do. We put the love of nature above our safety quite often. I do the same thing. Now, when I'm painting this scene, I'm keeping it very simple. This is line and wash, not a detailed watercolour. The other thing is that I have already established my colour scheme with my decoupage work and my pen and ink work before I ever got to doing the watercolour. So I can't just go in and paint bright greens and red strong reds and all the colours that aren't there in the original scene. I've established the lilacs, the blues, so it's important that even if I paint green foliage into my tree in the watercolour, that I actually tame it back a little bit, make it a little bit tinted towards the lilac, tinted towards the blue, and the red won't be terribly strong. It'll be a little bit towards the lilac red. So I'm keeping that colour harmony as I paint this watercolour. I also am keeping it very simple. As I said, this is line and wash. It is not meant to be detailed watercolour. So I'm really enjoying doing this scene. It's the second one I've done of Peggy with her iPad. Uh, looking across the valley. There's kangaroos in that valley by the way. I uh, just love them um, looking down. It's uh, always filled with bird life. We have the cockatoos, rosellas, honey eaters. It's, uh, as I said, I'm just so lucky to have my room with two panoramic windows looking out over views like this. Quite inspiring. There's a little close-up of Peggy in the garden.